We're still live. We're still live right there. Folks, my guest tonight is an actor you know from Kim's Convenience and Marvel's Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Please welcome to the late show, Simu Liu. <laughs> God. Nice to meet you. Thanks for being here, especially for a live show. It is late, Stephen. It is very, very late. But I do <laughs> it, it, is, I do it is for what you. what we do for a living. But hey, here's something that do doesn't normally happen with a guest. Mm -hmm. You actually went to a Rangers game before you came here. I did. So let's go to the sports report with my colleague, Simu Liu. Simu, how was the action on the ice tonight? Well, you're getting, you're getting a real expert report on the hockey, like really detailed. Because you're uh, Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> And you would think that that means something, it but does uh, to you. okay. So here's what happened. All right, you know, for, you know, for first, first, third, first period, really not a lot. Second period, you know, uh, uh, a Rangers score. Everyone was super happy. Timothy Chalamet was in my suite. We all grabbed each other. We hugged. We embraced. That was wow. wonderful. Uh, he's and there then, most nights. He's, he's there yeah, most right, nights. Yeah, right, right. He's a right. No, he's great. Um, but then, but then Tampa scored, and then Tampa scored again with like two minutes to go and it was it was the worst thing because I'm usually a basketball fan, right? And in basketball, like you can kind of see the plays form, you see the ball going up and you can kind of, you, you can predict as it goes through the hoop. This one, this game just felt like it was a scrum and then all of a sudden you see the puck in the back of the net and then it was it was just over. It felt like a punch in the gut, mm -hmm. it was awful. I never watched a hockey game before in my life and that was, it was like the worst <laughs> feeling. I felt like I just lost You might have just child. lost your, you might have lost your Canadian passport for saying probably, that. Probably, probably. Now you, you're no you, longer welcome. You, here's the camp, thing. Here's sure. the thing. You uh, and this is so lovely. You were named one of Time 100's 100 most influential people of the world this year. <laughs> Along with this year's list includes Oprah, President Zelensky, and our own John Baptiste right over right. there. Yeah. Gala. Yeah. The gala was last night. Did, yes. Was it was it fun? Did you, who'd you really want to meet? Because it, it's a it, the amazing people there every I time. I mean, I mean, I, I Stephen, I really appreciated meeting people that I I did not know before. Right, people like uh, Chris Smalls who helped organize the very first union at Amazon. Oh, um, right. People like Karuna Nundi, who yes, uh, who's you know a counselor on the on the Supreme Court of India. Um, but my, I have to admit, one of my favorite things was, you know, because we were planning all these bits for the, for the, you know, to play with the different guests. Um, so we had this bit where I would give bubble tea to Bill Gates. And uh, we had no idea how Bill would react because Bill is a billionaire and, you know, we just, billionaires are very particular. We don't know how sure. they like their steak. We don't know if they chew their own food or if they <laughs> employ a team of minimum wage workers to do it for them. You know, we have no idea. Um, but Bill was a, Bill was a great sport. He drank the bubble tea. I, I, have you ever had bubble tea before? I've yeah. never had bubble tea. I hear great things. Well, shoot, I should have brought some. Next well, time, next yeah. time. Um, but he did, he did really enjoy it and gave me a little shout out on his Instagram account oh, that's nice. uh, today. That's nice. and, and it seems, seems like we, we, you know, we, we have a new fan of bubble tea in Mr. Bill Gates. Well. It, you, 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 I, I found out something today about you. I, I, I loved you in Shang-Chi. It was a great film. You're, you're a wonderful actor. But that wasn't the career path originally. I found out today that soon, uh, this was, you, you, you tweeted this in April. Soon it will mm -hmm. be April 12th, the day I got laid off from Deloitte. Mm -hmm. I owe my life to being let go from a career I hated. Accounting not for me. You, <laughs> you were an accountant? There is, for some reason, a lot of love for accounts in this audience tonight, and I have no idea why. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, accounting... Did you deserve to be fired? Well, who deserves to be fired? I mean, I mean, you People know... People who are terrible at their job. So, I mean, did... Was I late for work every day? I mean, maybe. Um, did, were my spreadsheets riddled with errors? Perhaps. Did I skip work to be on the set of Pacific Rim as an extra without telling any of my bosses? Most definitely. <laughs> 
but deserve to be fired, Stephen. I, I don't know if anybody deserves that kind of humiliation and embarrassment. It was really awful. I mean, I had the guy from security behind me. He escorted me through the whole office, and it was like a big open concept floor, right? So literally, it's just the whole entire office watched me, my sad little bag, collecting my laptop and my things. And wow. It was, it was awful. Yeah, they give you your fired badge and they push you out of the building. Yeah, they actually, they, they give you a little taxi check because they're like, we don't want you anywhere near the train tracks on the way home. We, Please We will pay you to get as far away from yeah. us as possible. <laughs> well, we have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more of the author of We Were Dreamers, Simi Liu, and we'll talk about it when we come back.